Hi everyone. Uh, today we will be able to understand how to create the activity parameter. So what exactly is activity parameter? So I'll quickly show you guys. I have actually created a table called transport issue. So in the transport issue table, I have actually created multiple fields. Okay. So we'll quickly take a look at the transport issue form. So I'm just clicking on show form here. So my transport form issue, my transport issue form is actually looking like this one. So, but here, right, you will be able to create the records. You will be able to create the records and uh, you will be saving the form. Everything, everything is fine. But so here I have to track everything. So when, so when exactly you have selected a system administrator, so when exactly you have actually changed the caller. So from system administrator to I'm actually changing it to robber. So at what time you have actually changed the caller? So what was the previous value? What is the new value that you have changed? Everything I want to see on the form itself. So where exactly you can see that is that you can actually see that on the activity formatter. So here, right, as part of today's session, right, I am going to create a new activity formatter. So how exactly you will create new activity formatter is that I'll show you. So I'm actually navigating to base URL. So from the base URL, I'm actually going to application navigator. Here I'm actually creating a new formatter. Under system UI, you will be able to see a module called formatters. So in the formatters, what exactly you will do is you will create a new formatter here. So formatter name can be whatever that you can give. So I'm actually uh, giving uh, transport issue formatter. So here, right, you will actually select the table name. So the table name is actually transport issue. So this is the table name that I'm actually selecting. Here. So here in the formatter, right, you will actually uh, use activity.xml activity.xml. So this is what, which will actually store all the changes that you have actually made on the transport issue record. So I have actually created a formatter. So once I am done with creating the formatter, right, on the transport issue, now I will actually go to the, now I will actually go to the transport issue form, right click, configure, go to form layout. In the form layout, whatever the formatter that you created, right? So you will be able to see that formatter here. So transport issue formatter is what we had actually created. So this is the one that you will actually find it here. So you are able to find it here. So you are going to add this here in the, in the, under just below the description. So you will save this one. Okay. So here, if you scroll a little down here, in the activities, it is showing zero. You can just click on this, uh, no activity filter. You can just click on configure available fields. You will, so already there are fields, right? You can just click on save here. So you can actually track each and every change. So here you can actually uh, not check the timestamps. So what time the record is created? So what time, what is the, the record number? What is the assignment group that you have selected? What is the assigned to person? What is the caller? Suppose if I change the caller from Roger to someone else. So I'm actually changing it to able tutor. So let me just take any other user here. So I'm, I'm selecting a Rubin uh, Crotz here. So when I save this one, right? The change will be shown under the activities. See here, caller was changed to Roger to Rubin. So likewise, right, each and everything will be, each and every change will be tracked in the activities. So in this session, we have seen how to create the formatter. So this is how you will actually create the formatter. So I have actually given the name as transport issue formatter. Here in the formatter, right, this is very important. Here you will have to use activity.xml. So which will actually work as activity formatter, guys. You have to use activity.xml. So I have actually selected the table name as transport issue so that it will actually appear when you right click on this one, right? When you right click on this one, configure form layout. So in the left hand, so in the, in the left hand side, you will actually find that formatter name. 
So I have actually moved that format up to right side just a while ago. So I am just showing that activity formatter just under description field. So that is why you are able to uh, that is why you are able to see this uh, activity formatter just below the description field. Just below the description field, you are able to see the activity formatter. So this activity formatter will actually show you when exactly you have changed the field value. So what are all the changes going on that particular transport issue record? Everything will be tracked using activity formatter. So this is how you will actually create an activity formatter. You will add activity formatter on the form so that you can actually see the changes, what is going on on that particular record. So that um, you know it will make, uh, make your life easy. So by default, it will not actually um, appear under custom tables, guys. So we have to create a new uh, activity formatter like this one. So you will actually uh, create this activity formatter uh, by navigating to formatters module and you will just click on new here. So when you click on new here, so you will be able to see uh, form something like this one. Here you will actually enter the values, something like this one. And you will actually add that on the form by right clicking configure form layout. So here you will actually find that formatter that you have created. You will move it to right hand side. You will save this one. And once you save this one, right? So it will actually appear uh, on the form. Okay. So once it appeared on the form, right? You will have to go to the activity filters. So here you will have to add the fields that you want to see in the activity formatter. So let us say you want to see some other fields as well. So like created, created by impact, urgency, priority, related instance. So you can add rest of the rest of the fields as well. So everything will be uh, shown on the uh, shown on the activity formatter on the form. So hope you uh, learned something new from this session, guys. If you like if if you like our videos, uh, please do um, comment and subscribe our channel. So please encourage us, guys. Thank you very much.